The crest, as you see it today, has been here since 1949. Uh, the building was actually built in 1913. I actually used to attend the crest um, from like 1983 to 1985 as a punk rocker. I came on board as the candy girl and um, in, you know, a short matter of time I was uh, running the place. At one point in time it was just a movie theater, but um, when we came in and started operating it we realized that it could be so much more. All manner of things happen here at the Crest. We have weddings, we have concerts, we have comedy shows, we have outrageous midnight movies, we have film festivals. We've really seen huge changes in downtown over the 26 years that I've been here. It used to be I'd walk out my door at you know, 11 o'clock, midnight, and there was just no one on the streets. And now it's, there's music, and there's people, and voices, and laughter. Now it's really exciting because there's so much going on at 10th and K that when people call and they say, well, you know, where can I go to eat? I can give them a list of like 15 places that they can walk to from the Crest doorstep. We actually produce a list of all of our shows for the local restaurants, which include an estimated attendance, the time the show will start, the time the doors open, and those restaurants love that list. We bring almost 200,000 people annually um, to the downtown, daytime, evenings, weekends. And then, we, you know, you think about it, every time we have a thousand people show up on our doorstep, those people are going to park, they're going to go out to dinner. If they're from out of town, they might get a hotel room, make a night of it. So, you know, one little show can have quite, quite an impact. You know, we really see that the the community experience is the lifeblood of the Crest, whether it's a live concert or attending a film festival or, or something like that. We really think that we need to give people an experience that they can't get in their living rooms.